how it ended, um, I think we just played together as a team and just went hard. And I told the girls in the huddle, just like, guys, like this is our game. We know how to play basketball, but like, we know how to play. And if we just play with heart, like we're going to win this game. How does it feel to get a win over the second ranked team? You know what, it's just another game. It's just another state, state game, and any, any game is fun to win. Um, I'm just proud of my girls for uh, playing so hard and playing with their heart. I'm just wondering what it feels like to play a game that tight and, and have to take some big shots. I mean, do, do instincts take over? Or are you thinking yeah, everything? You don't think about it. It's just catch and shoot. And, you know, you just, when you think about it, that's when you're going to miss. But when you're just playing basketball and know you're just going to, you know, you've, I made that shot. We've all made shots a thousand times. And it's just a matter of um, uh, body memory, muscle memory. <laughs> Your coach was saying you've had a number of close fourth quarter games this year. Mm -hmm. um, some of them you won. I mean, do you think that played a big role? In oh, definitely, game? definitely. At the beginning of the season, we were really um, tied up in, throughout the whole game, and at the end, we always end up pulling out. In the last few games before season ended, um, it was kind of the opposite, where we weren't really finishing strong. And so those last two games that we played, they've really been back to how we used to play, playing really tough the whole, throughout the whole game and in the fourth quarter, being able to pull it out. So, yeah. You know, I, I know you guys uh, did a really good job on Bonneville defensively in the first half, but they also did a good job on you. I mean, can you describe uh, if you guys were having frustration at the halftime or what you guys feeling? Uh, not really. We, I mean, they were a physical team, most definitely. They were very athletic. Um, but you're going to come across that. Refs aren't going to call. They can't call every foul, you know. You know, they are on a time schedule. But, um, no, like, it's fun, and we're used to it, I guess. You just got to play through it. What did your coach tell you coming down the stretch? Just calm your minds down, he told us. And um, we know how to, we've been through this situation many times and just play like we know how to play. Was there any point where your coach told you specifically that you were going to have to take a big shot or that he wanted you to have the ball at the end? No, he never told me that. Um, but just being a leader and a captain for my team, I just, I don't know, I guess I don't really think about it. But, um, yeah, he didn't really, like, tell me. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't, I guess, yeah, it doesn't have to. This is the furthest you guys have been since you've been on the team, right? No, my sophomore year we actually went to the championship. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. But yeah, last year we, um, we went to the quarterfinals and lost there. What does it mean to get, get back to the semifinals? Yeah, um, personally, I want to go all the way to the championship. I know we can win it. Um, it's going to take a lot of teamwork. But um, see, my sophomore year we lost in the championship. And so I kind of have that, like, you know, that hunger to get back in it because um, it's my senior year, um, there's nothing to really lose, you know, and my team wants it too. They really are fighting for it and they know that this, it's a very likely thing that we can go to all the way to the championship and we're just happy that we were able to pull, with the win to, pull away with the win today.